Please make him welcome, Chris Radburn. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's great to be on TV. Uh, but I think that television, though, is giving us useless information. I was watching Channel 10 News and they've got a guy in a helicopter giving us a traffic report. A guy called Vic LaRusso. I mean, what's he care? He's in a helicopter. Right? <laughs> he can go straight there. Uh, and he's up there going, yeah, I just want to tell everyone, uh, don't head home via the M4. <laughs> it's busy. <laughs> I'm thinking, if you're watching this, you're already home. <laughs> expect us to do, like, ring random people? <laughs> oh, I'll get home, mate. Listen, it's Chris. Uh, are you on the M4? <laughs> get off, it's busy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I think what we need, though, is good sorts and Jeep beer report. That's what we need, you know? Like, he could be hovering above the Coogee Bay Hotel, <laughs> right? And he's like, yeah, look, there's heaps of good sorts uh, and two buck schooners. <laughs> <laughs> and don't go on the M4, it's busy. <laughs> It's everywhere. Useless information everywhere. I went to a wedding and on the back of the car, as they drove away from the church, is the sign, just married. <laughs> Who's that for? <laughs> Are people at the wedding going, oh, that's right. <laughs> I think what we need maybe is just single. <laughs> honk, honk, hello, look, I'm available. <laughs> but I guess though, guys, right, we wouldn't have just divorce on the back of our car, would we? We wouldn't have a bloody car. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So, Olympics is coming up, swimming, it's great, only 100 days to go. But how's this? They were saying that the pool, right, in China is a fast pool. <laughs> what does that mean? Does that work anywhere else? Like you're in bed with your girlfriend? Oh, sorry, sweetheart, this is just a fast bed. <laughs> But I do love sport, I do. And uh, I went to the cricket over summer. How's this? The police want us to do stuff. Uh, I'm sitting there in the grandstand and on the big screen there's this sign. It says, please report any anti-social behaviour. <laughs> so I dobbed in the guy sitting next to me, he sat there all day, didn't say a word to me. <laughs> How rude. Didn't even buy me a beer. <laughs> But I think the best sport that should be in the Olympics is fishing. How great's fishing, you know? But the thing about fishing, right, is the, it's like, well, the whole process of fishing is very much like picking up women. You've got to have the right tackle. <laughs> a good firm rod with a soft tip. Uh... You have the right line. If things aren't working out, you've got to move spots. <laughs> and you've got to be patient, right, because you could be there a while. Right? <laughs> And even if you get a nibble, doesn't mean you're going to land it. <laughs> yeah. And even if you land it, right, you've got to make sure it's legal. <laughs> yeah. And even if you don't catch one, right, you just buy one from the shop on the way home. <laughs> My name's Chris Rodgers, thank you very much.